Good afternoon, gentlemen. At the end of this class, you should know how to construct an, a tangent and a normal to an Archimedean spiral. Uh, we, in the previous class, we looked at how to construct an, how to construct an Archimedean spiral. Uh, for this session, we will be going a little bit further. We will be drawing, we'll be constructing uh, the tangent from a point P and the normal, or the normal and the tangent from a point P. First, we need to establish where our point P is. And um, for this, I will be assuming a point. So for P, for, to identify my, my point P, I'm gonna type P-O-I-N-T, enter. It allows me to specify point um, let's use here I'm using a random point I could also offset this at a specific distance to get that point that is one option so th there is my point oh my point snapped down to this point um, move clip click here and um, point click here and move where I want it to, to go I want my point to be probably somewhere here, like right, like here. Ah, it does want to move. Okay. All right. Okay. Let me let me offset this. O enter. Select object to offset. Space where offset distance through is good. Enter. here and uh, move to here escape now activate my point click here and let here be the point all right good so this is my point this is my point p i probably should label that p text single line click here text hide that Angle, enter. P. Enter, escape, click here, move this down a little bit. That's my point P. Now I can delete this. The next step, the next step, now that I've identified my point P, the next step is to draw a line from point P to the center of a circle. So the next step is to activate my construction layer. L, enter, one circle to point P, enter. The next step is to draw a circle or a semicircle or an arc that passes through the center of a circle and point P. So that we could use arc or I could use two point circle. Click circle. From here, I choose two points, two P. P1, point P be my first point, center of a circle, my second point, escape. Oh, I'm gonna throw off the excess, which I don't want. Um, for that, I type TR, enter once, enter, select cutting edge, select here as my cutting edge, enter to accept that blue line. Next, I touch this side, and before I realize it, all of that goes. The next step is to um, join point is to join a point where um join a point where draw a line from the point where the semicircle where the semicircle cuts the circle here to point p is my normal enter escape so this is my normal this line here is my normal i could lengthen this line by clicking here click and drag 
or that line moves undo undo all right or i could i could learn could type learn let's try to pull it and stretch it so i click here all right so there we go we have we now have that this is now my normal we know normally that a tangent is normally is always perpendicular to the normal so to generate our tangent we can use one of three methods we could draw a line at some random point anywhere i could draw a line here like that enter next i um click um geometric constraint gc gc perpendicular gc perpendicular enter next i touch this line then touch this line and what you realize this line becomes perpendicular to that line i hate seeing these these um points so i'm going to parametrics i click onto this i like this Click that and um, click that. Delete them. I like constraint. Not deleting. All right. I could also delete it from here, just like that. Delete. Escape. So now my final step now is to click this line and move this. Grip and move this. To this point our copy C O C O enter select here and that's um yeah all right that's basically that for that that's how we construct a normal truck. Any question, guys?